Dragon Ball vibe. Maybe you guys like want this like a big muscle come join Dragon Ball. <laughs> Open up the hip. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, get on nice Where's the clap? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Two, three. Yeah, yeah. Asian, 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 Asian. Hi guys, good morning. Alright, hey guys, my name is Haley and let's introduce each other actually. <laughs> yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Eileen. I'm here representing the Philippines. Woo! Myself, Haley, represents Chinese, and I can speak both Cantonese and Mandarin. Any Chinese here? Yeah, yeah! Woo -hoo! 大家好，你好，你好，我係代表啊啊中文嘅頻道嘅。咁啊啊，我希望大家可以 enjoy 今日嘅 party 啦。I hope everyone enjoy the show. All right, let's talk about Dragon Ball. I myself play Dragon Ball, like Dragon Ball. Why it's called Dragon Ball? You see, like outside the water, there's like a dragon head and dragon tail. So Dragon Ball is kind of like a, Ch a Chinese traditional culture back in 2,000 years ago. And um, so we will demonstrate like what is Dragon Ball is, and let's talk about that. So Kim, do you have anything want to share about your team about Dragon Ball? I have a lot to share with you. Thank you so much for uh, Kim and Mark to talk about Dragon Ball. And for myself, I grew up in Hong Kong, so actually I actually see Dragon Ball racing every year. So usually they happen in uh, every year May or June. That is like the fifth of the uh, fifth May, uh, fifth month of Lunar New uh, Year, if you guys know. Um, so also, like usually we will eat a uh, rice dumpling. Have you guys tried rice dumpling before? Oh yeah. Yes! Zi <laughs> Zong all right, so like, uh, talk about a little bit about Dragon Ball. What is the difference between the other boats? That is like, you guys can see, it's kind of like a canoeing, but it's like over 10 people like uh, paddling together. You can see like a drummer, it's actually give a, a heartbeat uh, for giving the paddler to like go together. So the boat will go faster and faster. And I believe your group has like training a lot and then win a lot of uh, award, right? <laughs> we, we do pretty well, yeah. yeah All yeah. right. Yeah, thank you very much. You guys can go over there, take some picture, remember hashtag us. Yeah. yeah, Kim, I really like your story. When you share about like dragon actually represent like health and also like uh, uh, prosperity, it's actually true. I mean, have you guys heard about like uh, what kind of animal that you represent for Chinese uh, Chinese New Year? So myself, I am a dragon girl. What about you? Do you know that you're an uh, animal of China? What animal you represent? I don't, but I'm sure it is water related. Okay, alright. So just let you know, like there's like a 12 different uh, animals and like uh, for represent for Chinese here. So uh, uh, I'm a monkey. You are a monkey? I can tell. Yeah, but you're such a see. strong monkey. Look at this. Look at this guy. Okay, this is like gorilla. all about Dragon Ball. All about paddling, isn't it right? Four. Pointing to my biceps. It's really not the biceps. It's everything else. But, yeah, yes. thanks. It really is, is your arms get tired. So it's really core, your pecs, and your latissimus. From the wow, back. guys, listen up. Core, it's super important for nowadays when you work out. So don't have those big muscles hanging yes. in Miami, isn't yes. it? So like a drag it bowl, it helps. really, really helps. Like, look at this guy, like just turn around, give me like yeah. a turn this is like a Dragon Ball vibe. If you guys like want this like a big muscle, come join Dragon Ball. Yeah, that's right. All right, thank you so much, guys, for uh, listening up for the Dragon Ball story for a lot, for a while. So now coming up, you guys can see who is preparing. What is that? Have you guys seen the show that we are preparing? What is that? That is Lion Dance.
performance. And just let you know, this one in Chinese called Er Hu. Yi Wu is exactly made from two string. That's two string violin, you can say. Okay, up next, the second show is a singing and dancing performance. Flowers under the full moon. It's a love story depicted by the beauty dancing in an ancient palace with classic dresses. The singing is by Jing Lu, a well-known vocal performing artist in South Florida, and Rustin. All right, give it up a big applause. Thank you. <laughs> Try it. That is Namaste <laughs> Yoga time. All right, welcome up to Yoga Master. Come up here. All right. So why don't you just tell me about like uh, yourself, yoga? Oh, uh, what Namaste means? Okay. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Everybody. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> All right, so I'll introduce myself first. My name is Sri Sudarshan. Each of us has a unique yoga pose to find. I got one. That's, okay, here, how about that? <laughs> I'll lead you in a story, another one, all right? Is any yoga pose that's really easy and let the audience to just try to practice together? Yeah, that's a good one. Like this? How about breathing? Should we do breathing or a posture? Yeah, sure. Posture, okay. All right, everyone. Stand up. Stand up, please. <laughs> yoga, 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 yoga time. Okay, I have a good one for you. Everyone gonna do this. One, lift your left foot. Lifting your left foot. Open up the hip. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bring the foot forward. Extend the leg. And would you like to share with our, with our audience the platinum spine? Oh, definitely. That is the platinum sponsor time, all right? Listen up. We would also like to thank the sponsor that so proudly and generously support the festival this year. And our platinum sponsor that is like Thai Royal Embassy. Give it a big hand. Yeah! Consulate General of Japan. Keep clapping, keep clapping. Tourism Authority of Thailand. Shanghai, Taipei Economic, where's the club? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Taipei Economic and Healthcare Office in Miami, Republic of Turkey Consulate, Embassy of Laos, Miami Dolphins Football presents by Best uh, Baptist Health, Santos oh, uh, <laughs> Santos Medical Center and uh, Greater Miami Convention and Visitor Bureau. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the sponsor. I also want like one thing I want to add it up. Just say everybody represent like different culture from Asia. Why don't we just say thank you in our own language? Why don't you use start for from Philippines? Oh, good idea. Salama po. Salama po. Po is a term of respect. So usually if you are a younger person speaking to an older person, just someone that you want to show respect for, you'll add po at the end. So salama po. One more time. Salama po. All right, good job. All right, now, now, now. I know two kind of Chinese that is Cantonese and Mandarin. It's kind of like, uh, let's make it easier for you. I think you guys heard the Mandarin xie xie, right? Anybody heard xie xie? Okay, okay, one, two, three, xie xie! All right, now it's Cantonese time, all right? Okay, Cantonese is do zhe. One, two, three, do zhe. Good job, all right, now you. Yeah, so they say, the easy we remember that is um, door and chair, right? So door, chair is like, thank you. I'll be teaching you how to say uh, thank you in three languages. It'll be. Oh yeah, he's a mix. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, for Thai, it'll be a couple of crab. Remember, the guy has to go with a crab, and the women go with a cup. And then for uh, Lao, uh, for Lao, you would say cup jai. Cup jai. And then uh, Vietnamese, you say cup hung. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Thank you so much.
And um, so I'm going to take it a little over the top. I think you know Kapunka is the Thai version. But when we pay respect to people that we show appreciation to, we actually sit down and thank them. So I'm going to do that. Well, I just take a bow. <laughs> so last, I just want to invite all the audience here. I know it's very colorful here, but we here for Asian culture. Okay, since we have so many different languages, why don't we just say Asian?